Hello everyone, I'm Yashinard and welcome in this new video tutorial on how to rig wings like this one. Check my new super customizable wings asset. Every section of the wings can be colored separately, both the base color and the shadow. Then for both skin and bones you have multiple different prints such as stripes, scales, cow print, polka dots, clouds, and all of these can also be colored separately with any color possible. Finally, you can toggle on and off the sparkles and you can adjust the distance of the wings. All of this is gonna be on my coffee. Okay, I will start by importing my PSD file. Because I am doing just the wings in this model, I actually remove all of these parameters and create some new ones. And I have a lot of layers because I've made this into uh, a set, but um, I will show you what are the layers that you actually need. You don't need all of this. And I'm also only gonna work for now on the right wing it's because I can just copy paste to the left one. So. Okay, now if you have any patterns like I do, feel free to clip them on the uh, skin base, so copy the skin base ID, copy, select all of your whatever lines and stuff that you got, paste, same for the bones. And here we got our little uh, wing ready to be rigged. So I will create a full deformer containing the wing and call it wing R. Increase the divisions. So wings number one will have all the X, move these here make the wing go up do the same thing on the other side but opposite as well as we want to open up the um, wing itself so I'm using the selection tool to select the different sections and then again X, drag and open up. You may want to adjust a little bit if things got warped. And on the opposite also, again select the first section, actually having less divisions might help us more here. Okay, we have our nice both a tilting movement and an up and down uh, opening movement. Again, adjust if you need anything that looks a little bit too warped. Now, the second one is actually 
like literally the same thing but we are gonna work more on the outer section of the wing so only the first one will have the tilting you, you could actually make it tilt more depending on how much you like the wings to move in that sense now the second one is mostly the same but we will have more the middle section to bend open up and close you may even use if you want a temporary deform tool and a path actually like this bend it a little bit like that same thing for the upward motion Now we are going to do a little bit again of opening up and closing of the membrane. Let's try to see what synthesized, synthesized corners looks like. We need to do some adjustment. Like here, it completely folded onto itself. We may be able to drag a panda around here. Control Shift C, Control Shift V to open it up, and then adjust. Alright, we'll do further adjustments if needed, we will check how it looks in the physics though. Now, create a new warp deformer. The third um, deformer will be mostly um, a tip movement. So, just have the tips kind of wiggle. Alright, let's see how this looks in the physics. Remember that on the 15th of October, my Yoshino class 2023 will come out. It's a full course on how to make a VTuber model from character design to illustration cutting to the full rigging process. Divided in 10 different courses that you can purchase separately. Don't miss it! I would like to first create a new group and call it Wings. Input we will have uh, because I deleted them, actually we need them for our input, so uh, let me create it again. I guess this is a good uh, moment to show you a little uh, trick. Um, I'll use my own model. Whenever you, uh, by mistake, delete uh, parameters, especially the breadth parameters that you cannot recreate, um, you can just copy them from another model to get them back. Mm, how you do that is very simply you find any object that is active in the parameters that you need mm, for example I want the bread one and the copy 
paste it onto your model and now you will see that the breath parameter has appeared now I don't need this anymore and now I have the parameter back <laughs> that was a good um, moment to, to show you I guess alright now again in the physics in the input we will add the breath, body, x and y breath will be angle and let's for now put 60, 40 but we will fix it pendulum just a normal triple pendulum and we will see how it works right click and here add wings 1, 2, 3 ok settings of the cursor tracking here we add them like this ok this is looking like something we can do some improvements Usually the uh, extended interpolation kind of makes movements better when you have very wide and rotation movements like I have here. I will mostly now try to smooth things out. As you can see if I bring the first wing to the right and then I move this, I see a lot of shape, weird shape. So I can adjust it so that the shape is more consistent it doesn't have to be perfect but at least more consistent than what it is that the synthesized corners has done Alright, that's mostly it. This is literally how you can rig some wings. If you move them around and you see some weird things happening, move them, move them, move them. Um, if you see some weird, ha weird things happening, it's mostly because of this output going over 100. So you can come here, decrease output, and it's gonna look um, way better. Let me show you really quick how we can copy paste to the other side. I don't really read them separately, like they're in the same parameter. So you just reflect and it works. There you go, that's how you rig some very beautiful wings. Remember to check out my coffee shop to get this uh, asset if you want. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on next tutorial. Bye bye!